Hello and welcome back to my new video. Today I will show you a list of useful console commands that I use when I create, test and debug a map in CSGO. Please note that most of these commands require svsheets1 enabled on the server to work. The first command I'm going to show you is the developer2 command, which will show console messages in the top left corner. And it will also give you a more detailed information about what's happening on the server. I recommend that you put this on every time you test your map. The next command is the cl underscore show pass one command, which will show your position coordinates inside the map, and also your velocity, in the top left corner of the screen. Next we have the cl underscore show fps one command, which will show your fps and the name of the map. And here we have the netgraph one command, which will show you your fps, and some more detailed information about the lag on the server. And the next command, show budget texture one, will show you how much memory your map uses at different parts of the map, and is a very good tool for optimizing your map. And the next command is the r underscore draw light info one. This command will show you a lot of information about all lights on the map, the position, the light value, and the color. The next useful command is the sv underscore show impacts one command which will show the point where the bullet makes an impact on the wall. It is very good for finding wall bank spots on the map. And the next command, sv underscore show impacts underscore penetration one command, will show you some extra data where the bullet penetrates, the damage, the material and the distance, and is one of the best ways to find unintentional wall bank spots on the map. And now I'm going to show you some draw commands. And the first command is the r underscore draw clip brushes two command, which shows all clip brushes inside the map and is useful for patching and finding blue spots on the map. And the next one is the vcollide underscore wireframe one command, which renders the collision boxes for models and props in a blue wireframe. And this is also good for finding blue spots and glitches on the map and props with poor collision models. The next one is the show triggers underscore toggle command, which shows the trigger boxes inside the map with a trigger texture and is good for debugging bomb plant spots and buy zones. And the next one is the r underscore show nv cube maps one command, which makes your player model shiny for testing cube maps. Cube maps is a way to test the reflection on your map after you have built your own cube maps. And the next one is the r underscore draw particle zero command, which will not draw any particle effects on your map. For example, rain, smokes, and grenades, etc. And the next command is the mat underscore wireframe one command, which will draw the map in different wireframe views. So different values will give different results. And this is a good way to see how your map or any other map is made from the ground up. And now I'm gonna show you some other commands that I found very useful. And the first one of those are the bot underscore mimic one command, which will make all bots mimic your movements which is very good for bot testing and you can also do some run boosts. And the next one is the nav underscore edit one command, which will show you the bot navigation mesh under your crosshair and also enables you to edit them. And this is very useful for debugging your bot navigation on your map. And the next one, bot underscore show battlefront one command will show you where the bots meet and engage with each other and it's a great way for getting the timings on your map. No. And the next one is the bot show occupy time one command, which will show all bot navigation mesh nodes on the map. And please be aware that this command is very taxing for your PC. And the next one, dlight underscore debug, will place a big orange light in front of you for debugging purposes. And it will help you to light up an area if you forgot to put light in your level. And the next command, prop underscore dynamic underscore create props backward slash d underscore new backward slash create underscore small dot mdl, which will create a crate under your crosshair. And that is a good way of testing the dimensions of your map. And the next command is the ent underscore text command, which will display some extra information about an entity that you were looking towards. And this requires the developer one command to work. And it is also very good for debugging all kinds of entities. And if you want to see some more useful console commands for map making, I will link you a longer list in the description as well. And if you have any useful console commands, put them in the comments below and I will do my best to respond. 
But that is all for now, and don't forget to have fun!